that if I got a thing for girls with that big ass fupa, that that ass in the front, but my homies are laughing at me saying I like big girls, I need to say fuck what y'all talking about, and I need to go tongue kiss her in front of all them niggas. Is that what you're saying? No, you need to go get like some big hair. girls. No, no. If you like big girls and and you see somebody over there and you were embarrassed to your friends, you need to say fuck them and go do what's best for you. That's like, what I'm talking at the, about. At the, at, at the end of the day, you shouldn't be moving for what another another man's eyes, another man's dick, another man's pocket shouldn't affect how your, your dick, your eyes, and your pocket move. We got to stop it, bro. We, men are supposed to be individuals. We're not supposed to subscribe to groupthink. That's the thing we put women in the category of. All the men think this, so this is what I'm going to think. If you think it, that's one thing. But if you're co-signing just so you could be in line with the other men, bro, you have deeper problems than this YouTube shit. Because I, 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 I guarantee you it translates past YouTube. Hold on, Mr. Letgo. Yeah, I know y'all want that big girl. This is this is the problem. This is the reason why I asked the question earlier in the show. Do we feel like we're an accurate representation of those outside of us out, uh, in the real world? And what we literally just proved is that no, on these panels, in this in this show, we are not. The fuck do you no, because because we all make sweeping statements. We all everybody just made <laughs> sweeping statements. Everybody just made sweeping statements about men on this panel that's just not true for most men. But we have to we we categorizing men in this category of predators, egotistical, don't have their own minds. No one uh, said, no one used those words. I said I don't think I don't think he's I don't I don't think he's attacking anybody. I think he's checkmating the, the show. Like he's saying he said this in the beginning and it's kind of coming out to be true. It's coming out through the panel. But we, we, are not, we are not coming as out a matter of fact, as a matter that we are not an accurate representation of people in real that. life. I, I, let him make the point. Ali, we said that though. No, I, if you let me finish the thought, you will yeah, understand it. Point, you gotta let, the, let it marinate. Come on now, because we literally because we, we come on these panels and we make sweeping statements about men in general, about women in general. And then once you start asking questions three layers deep, it's never you. It's never you, but you know all about what they're going through. It's never you. Oh, I know that uh, most men act like this. Okay, how would you know that? So you've been through that? No, nah, it, it wasn't me. I, I, but I have a story. I got a story to tell, but it's never you. So because how can you make sweet like the average so, person? Well, you, but the thing is, I don't even. Th I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest. I don't think any of y'all actually have real conversations with the average people. Because and, and I'm and you know what I'm gonna speak specifically because I did tell Ali I was gonna tell her my problem with her. My problem is that you make generalized and sweeping statements about men, and you don't know us. You don't know us. I don't have to know. The, Ex and the thing and the thing is is that I, because because you said something that was really interesting. You said men are uh men are intimidated by our femininity and they got to try to beat you down and stuff like that and then. Right when you was about to say it was you, then you was like, "Oh, it doesn't happen to me." So how would you know that? How do you know well, that men in general associate uh, Sweeney is a part okay. of their? And then, and then the problem with that is, and then the problem with that is, is that on the balance of probability, if that's the case for men, then women have to be doing the same thing because we're not that different. Let me let me interject oh, real quick. Let me because this, this this is helpful. Women disassociate themselves from everything negative. Okay. No matter what it is, it could Fair. be a fat girl. She ain't fat. They fat. All right. It's just what women do. All right. That's something that you have to understand. And that is one of the small reasons it's why I say saying. women are children, oh. because they get to get away with doing dumb shit like that. But no. we can't because we're men. Does that make sense? Hold on, y'all. He addressed it to me. Wait, 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 wait. It's not your turn. You just talk, Mr. Lego go, and then someone else got to talk. You well, can't just control the whole show. Well, I'm not controlling the show. Well, Everybody got their chance to speak on the topic. So let me finish. I never got to respond. You just attacked me. No, you asked me. You told me. Can we seriously take a chill pill? Because I, I'm, uh, Mr. Lego, you asked me to interject. Right? I need to respond. Did you not ask me to interject? Yes, no. I did. All right, so you interjected my yes. point, my let's, statement. Let's finish and then uh, I'm gonna I'm do what we. No, I'm willing. Now the thing is, is that I'm willing to let you respond, Ali. Hold on, Andrea, stay for a second. Let hey. me stay. Yeah. 
Hey, you know he didn't mean it like that. Ali, you know damn well that's going to be We can go to the next thing. Go ahead. All I got to say is um, I take accountability. I have met terrible men, but I've also been raised by a great man who married my mother, who's never yelled at me, who's never beat me, who's actually protected me from my mother when she wanted to beat me. Who's like, come here. You know, so I don't I don't identify with toxic men. I, I If I met a toxic man, which I'm sure everyone knows one and has met one, and I'm not going to make myself holier than thou and say, but I don't date them. I've never I've never dated them and, and was bamboozled and said, oh, the penis is so good. I'm going to ignore this, this, that, and then emotional neglect and the emotional abuse. I'm not going to ignore that. So I, I, are you going to say I'm an anomaly, whatever it is? Yeah, I am. So... Yeah, I don't have to identify with the struggle of the black woman personally to talk on it. I have to do my research. I'm not that far removed from Sweeney. Mute yourself. I'm not done. I haven't said anything. I mean, go ahead. I have not interrupted you. Go ahead. The feedback. You're good. I didn't do that. Mute yourself. So as I was saying, um, I don't if I research these issues in my black community that is that are impacting both black men and both black women i don't have to personally have to be went through a domestic violence or abuse situation i don't have to have been uh assaulted i have educated myself so we have to stop with the oh you must have went through or you who hurt you type shit because you, when you see your brother get gunned down on the news, you're out there marching and you, it didn't affect you like that, but it's still emotionally, you identify with that because that was your peer. So and that's what I hate. I, I, think, from, I think there's a difference between identifying when there's a problem, when there's issues going on and making generalizing sweeping statements about a particular group. I when, think oh, that is, it, hold, hold on, Mr. Let go. Yeah. Hold on, wait. Uh, no, 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 no. I think that's the difference. If we were to just sit here and have an honest conversation and say, hey, look, hey, look, I get that there's that. Hey, look, some men are out here doing X, Y, Z. Let's talk about it. And we could talk about it without saying all men are either one or two things. Either they're they're They love their mama or they hate their mama or either they do this or they do. These conversations have to be far more nuanced when we're talking about human beings here. Sweeney, my, my issue, my, my issue with, with you and what you're saying is why do you allow it to get to you? And that is kind of like what what we all have been saying. And I'm not saying you, but a lot of these dudes on YouTube, they do that. They get just like earlier. Right. Um, the ladies literally said and you're the first person that unmuted. The ladies literally said, no, these men be beating hell out of women and all this other shit. Right. You the first person that says, no, that's not true. And that is one of the issues. So we turn correction. around and dismiss women. Allow me to correct you real quick. Allow me to correct you. Allow me to correct you real quick. No, let him. you accuse me of something. Right. I want to I want to correct finish. you. I just want to finish. Go ahead and I'll correct you. So the thing about it is we spend so much time dismissing other people's experiences. Because we have a total this different experience, what you're accusing Ali of, but you be doing the same shit, but you do it in a question form. So, Andrea, if you ain't never did this, how you know that? Da, 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 da. So you don't accuse nobody. You ask an accusatory question. And that's what Ali was saying that you do all the time. Okay, Mr. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let me let me correct. Let me correct Mr. Let go on something. First of all, I didn't jump in when Andre and Ali was speaking today. I jumped in when you said over fifty percent of men are out here beating on their women. That's when I interrupted and said, "That's fifty percent." That's fifty percent. And I looked at it. Hold on, hold on, y'all. There's a bigger problem than that. There's a there's a bigger problem than that. Like. What Sweeney's referring to, right? We had every woman on the panel pretty much characterize men as a predator just now. They said that predators uh -huh. are pretty much attracted to femininity. Every woman Whoa, agreed to that just they, now. They, every last happened. one that of them. That just happened. That every single woman on the panel said that. Hold on. 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 Hold on.
We said that some men hate femininity, and we gave nobody it said some ever. Yes, we not one word said it is never yeah, mentioned. I literally I said, said some I men, and I don't care. Okay, no. I'm, I'm, I'm talking about it. Right, she one never, one 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 one. never said I some. Said I said two. not all men. Yes, she and I said, said there's two men. men. There's a, a man that's raised. Ali by never said some. That's a lie. I you said never said two, some. You, you said men listen. are attracted the to. The problem is, Trev, you don't. You all don't listen to. All right, so understand. Here's you what we're gonna do. Here's what we're gonna do. Okay, stop, Ali. Stop. We gotta get the man. 